Alright, so this month, you guys are going to notice that all my videos are going to be about haunted attractions in Ohio. We're going to do a haunted tour of Ohio every Friday. We're going to have a cookout, and then we're going to go to a haunted hayride, haunted house, haunted maze, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to come back, have a fire, probably shoot the shit and sit around and drink a little bit, just, you know, have a, a good night. And uh, today, it's not technically October yet, so cheating a little bit, we're getting a head start, but, you know, it's close enough. Tonight's haunted attraction is going to be the Lewisburg Haunted Cave. Their address will be right here. They, uh, it's $17 to get in. If you're under 10, it's eight bucks. I usually try to do information searches on the places beforehand. That way I can give you guys a little bit of the history, let you know their backstory, how long they've been in business, all that fun stuff. Uh, Lewisburg really didn't give me much information. They're just like, all right, cool, come on out. Um, well, that doesn't give me a whole lot to go on, so. I'll tell you what I do know, other than the uh, prices and the address, I do know that they are Ohio's largest brown bat habitat, and the Haunted Cave, and also part of the Historical Society is on the same, uh, I guess, area. It's a mine, it's a limestone mine, and that's about as much as we know about them. They also have a ride you could do it's eight bucks it's not you know, haunted uh, they take you to the tour of the place and I imagine that's where I would find most of my history that I want to know for my background story however I work 40 hours a week well I work for 11 hour days so that takes up a good chunk of my life I'm also a full-time college student, and I also record and edit these videos, so it's very hard to find extra time, so if I can get the background information ahead of time, that's fantastic, I'll do it, I'll tell you guys about where we're going. Today's pre-trip video is going to be fairly short, I'll probably get a few pictures for Instagram. Which, if you're not following me, it's Metalhead814. Check me out on there. Anyway, I'll get some pictures for that. I will have uh, probably some pictures of us goofing around before we leave. Probably some on the trip there. And then after we get back and we're all sitting around the fire, or if it starts raining again, we'll probably watch a movie or something. I'll have uh, the synopsis of the event. Tell you how uh, how good it was if it's worth going. So far every year they've been pretty impressive. So I'm I got high hopes for them this year. All right, so my uh, overall feeling of the Lewisburg Haunted Cave, I absolutely loved it as usual. They uh, advertised that it takes about an hour to get through. My group managed to get through in just about 40 minutes. So. A little shorter than what they advertised, but I could see where parts of the cave could take longer for you know other groups to get through, so no big deal. Uh, their overall scene, layout, and decorative options, creativity-wise, absolutely loved it. They did a really good job with the place. The actors did good. Didn't seem like there was as many this year as there was in other years, but again, no big deal. The ones that we saw did a really good job. Didn't really have uh, any jump scares that we couldn't see coming. And again, we're talking about a group that goes to a different haunted house every weekend of pretty much from the time they open to the time they close. So, we're kind of hard to, you know, scare. We're used to this kind of stuff. Uh, the only really big complaint I had about the place, and it really doesn't affect my overall view of them at all, was halfway through, 
smelled like one of the workers stopped to take a smoke break and it was right where people were walking through and being in a cave obviously there's not a ton of ventilation so it kind of lingered I have a bit of an allergy to it it makes my eyes watery red edgy kind of makes me feel weird so I know I probably noticed it a lot more than anyone else in my group so again it's not really a huge deal but at the same time it's I don't really think it's professional for them to be smoking right where the people that are paying good money to come through there are walking. And then again on the way out, I noticed it right at the exit. So uh, again, not a big deal. Overall, very pleased with the place. I would definitely recommend going there for uh, 17 bucks and about an hour drive for us. The price is, I believe, a little bit higher than it was in previous years, but still worth it in my books. There's other places that the prices have gone up so high that we probably will not be going back to. However, Lewis Burkana Cave is not one of those. We will probably be going back there again next year. Look at that car, all right. Okay, overall, I thought their scenes were well thought out. They were all very distinct from one another. You have, you know, all your popular and cliche ones and then their creative ones. And what was really nice was they didn't just go from scene to scene and it's like stepping into a different world. Every scene transitioned very well into the next one. So it was one smooth walkthrough process which is very nice you know some places you go to and in one second you're in a hospital the next second you're in a jail looking at this beautiful sunset and then the next thing you know you're in a graveyard and it's like well what the hell am, am i like playing portal here going from one one area to the next but no at lewisburg haunted cave i thought the transitions were very smooth well thought out very appreciative Put on your walking shoes, because coming out of the cave, walking up that steep hill, definitely wore me out. I know it wore out some of the rest of us. So, you know, get your get your exercise in with your, your trip in. Uh, next week, not really 100% sure where we are going just yet. So, for any of you that do want to go with me and my group and eat with us before or after, by all means, get a hold of me. 